Welcome back, everyone, to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. And today we're talking about overlooked old guys in, in auction drafts this year. Because we've been going through this, and there's some guys that people are saying on the back end of the career, maybe, and they're just going for too cheap, I feel like, for what I just feel like for what they should be. I feel like these guys should be going for more money. And it doesn't, I'm just not there yet. I'm not on the, I'm not saying they're done yet. Like some people are. So I'll throw out my first guy, Jeff, um, Stefan Diggs. He's going for $19 right now. And we've talked about him on some other episodes, but $19 on ESPN. And I just, I'm not, I had someone else say on a comment before, just, just admit it. He's cooked. I'm like, no, I'm not there. I'm not there. He's, yeah, he's 30 years old. He'll be 31. I don't think that's done. And he was too good in the first six games of last year where there's like how good he was to start the year just makes me feel like there was a, this wasn't all of a sudden like week seven or eight, Stefan Diggs just age hit him, right? That's not what happened. It had to be a scheme thing. I'm not going to, I don't know exactly. No one does, but they weren't looking for him as much. I've, I've listened to people that watch tape and really have an understanding of it. And they say they really can't see any kind of difference in him in, in those games after that point of like, it's not like he was getting less separation or anything like that. I just think they started using him different. I mean, he still had 107 catches, 1100 yards, eight touchdowns last year. It's really started strong. I'm not in the, I'm, I don't think he's done. I don't think he's done. He's on a good quarter. He's a good quarterback. He's only $19. So digs digs for me. I think he's going too cheap. No, a hundred percent. agree with you. I, I, I don't, I don't like the, it just feels like they're forgotten about him. And for yeah. no good reason, like you said, if you, I don't understand how you can say he's cooked when the first half of last year was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And first of all, the, and the other thing is, look, the whole Bills offense took a giant crap the second half of the season. Yep. It like they were a Super Bowl contending team and all of a sudden they just fell out of love. It was kind of the same thing that happened to Philly. So I do not think that it was his fault. I think he'll be fine. And it's the whole reason I'm actually not that bullish on Nico now that he had his breakout last year. Yep. But, um, I agree with that one. The next guy I'm going to talk about is Mike Evans. Yeah. Um, Seems like he, this has been a trend for years. <laughs> yeah. He's, and believe me, I, I think a couple of years ago, I was one of the guys that was like, hey, I don't like this. Like, eventually he has to fall off. He keeps doing it. He's already done it with Baker. Baker is back. Um, he's like, Godwin doesn't feel like, I'm hoping he kind of comes back too to where he could be. But Mike Evans has just been incredibly solid for years and years and years. He's 31. I think he's going to be 32 this year. And the guy just will get you a thousand yards and 10 touchdowns pretty much. In in 2022, he only had six touchdowns. And that was when people were kind of like, okay, maybe he's starting to go in the wrong direction, but he still had 1,100 yards. Last year, over 1,200 yards and 13 touchdowns. I, I don't think maybe he gets that, but look, he could go 12 and 10 and you're having a great... Uh, a great time with him and even though right now he's uh he's going for about thirty dollars but i don't hate that when you're looking at the guy above him going for about the same as michael Pittman, drake london nico collins um you know i'm you start uh marvin harrison jr is uh, like four dollars more but you don't know what you're getting out of him mm -hmm. it feels like if marvin harrison jr went 1210 we would be like he was absolutely he was worth the money. Yeah. Mike Evans is probably going to do that. So even mm -hmm. though you're not getting as big um, of a discount as like Diggs is right now, I think that his name has to be on there. Yep. No, I'm, I like that. All right. My next guy, we, I don't think we've talked about him at all. We never do. We've never been a big fan necessarily, but I think maybe this is one we're just, we're overlooking it. Everyone's overlooking it. He's still going for dirt cheap, but he's actually been a pretty good player. That's James Connor. He's going for $9, $9. That's, Pretty cheap for a starting running back who is is twenty nine years old. He's not he's not thirty yet. He's still twenty nine. That's not bad. He had his best season last year and ran for a thousand yards, seven touchdowns, five yards per carry. And you look at what he's done over his career. He's not he has not been overworked. Two hundred and eight carries was the second most he's ever had last year. His second year he had two fifteen. So he's only been over two hundred carries three times in his career. And yeah, they brought in Trey Benson, but I mean, that's just, they need another body. He's probably going to play, right? But it's not like Connor's ever been a 300 
carry 250, not a 250 carry guy. There's going to be another guy getting carries. He's shown he can be pretty productive in this 180 to 200 carry um, place. Last year, he was the 15th running back two years ago, 19th, the year before fifth. For $9, it's not bad. I think I, I overlook it all the time. I don't even really think about him. But when I was really looking at this and, man, that seems seems pretty cheap. Yeah, he is. He's one of these players that is not a a flashy guy when you're when you're drafting mm-hmm. him, and you're constantly thinking who's gonna you know come up and who's gonna take a spot, and he just keeps getting it done. And he um, does. I, you know, I like Trey Benson. I like that he's backing him up, but I do think that he that can, if Connor is healthy, he's gonna be the guy. He, he's shown over time he's been that guy. So I don't know, James Connor. He's he's overlooked by us even, but I think he's he's more valuable than what we give him credit for. So. Yeah, and it's so funny. And uh, next guy, I think it's the same way. This guy mm-hmm. used to have a lot more hype, um, but Alvin Kamara. Yeah, I, it's just one of those where when you have been around for so long and keep doing it, that it doesn't. You don't want to spend that that middle money in order to get him. But hey, he's probably going to be pretty good. He's going to be twenty nine this year. Last year he missed time because of a suspension and whatnot. Um, but and you know his yards per average has kind of been going down, right? In, in 2020, he was still at five yards per carry. Then it was 3.7, then four, and then 3.9 last year. But he was still getting into it. Um, he's not what he used to be, which is, hey, he was like a top five back. But for what you're getting him right now, and especially with the other running backs and, and the worry, like there's no one behind him get, that's going to take no like meaningful carries away from the guy. And even last year when he only played 13 games, he was still the 24th best running back so right now and he's not that i mean 2021 he was in the top 10 he's yeah. not that far removed it is not outside the realm of possibility that he is a top 10 running back that you're getting closer to the 20th um and right now i believe he is going for uh mine is loading at the moment is he going for th- 26 yeah 26 bucks not bad at all for a starting guaranteed starting running back and I do feel like that's one where you're looking at like, okay, HN, James Cook, Joe Mixon, those guys are all above him going for a little bit more. And I think that they have like more to prove. Yep. Yep. Okay. One thing to help with Kamara here last year, you know, he missed some games for the suspension. Then he missed a game at the end of the year points per game. He was fifth and half point PPR. Really? He was the fifth best running back in the league in points per game. So he missed four games, right? Yeah. But yeah, three were suspension. It was an injury at the beginning of the year. And he was he was fifth. The only ones ahead of him in points per game for half point PPR were McCaffrey, of course, Kyron Williams, who's up there, Mostert, and A-Chain. That's it. He's ahead of ETN, Brees Hall, Jonathan Taylor, Saquon, Bijan, Mixon, Gibbs, to the, everyone. Just name them all. He's ahead of them all. That's, I, I mean, and he's, that, that $26 that he's going for is I think like the 14th running back. You want Alvin Kamara for 26 or do you want Rashad white for 27? Right. right. I mean, come on. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's it's Kamara. It's no brainer. It's it's a big fall off after that too, because you're, you're starting to take very big risks because after that, you're talking about Rashad white, Josh Jacobs, Ken Walker. And then you get really, you You can build a team with some of these guys. And, oh, without a doubt, they're they're very like no one no one is mm-hmm. going into their draft being like I need one of these yep. guys, um is and you know it's a nice to have and yeah they're not as cheap as you would like. There's even more guys yeah. I could name, but they come with more risk. But these guys are incredibly safe, and you can yep. get them for a, a you know a decent price tag. Yep. So all right, there we go. Overlooked old guys. Don't forget about them when you're doing your drafts this weekend. Talk to you guys next time.